can really get to know some of these pieces? What we do is we make some careful accommodation for logistics and for the cognitive impairments that are occurring. Uh, we set up a very safe, quiet um, atmosphere that encourages a lot of focus and engagement. We use uh, communication techniques that are geared to uh, the way the brain is operating as it moves through uh, the progression of dementia. Well, we use the inquiry method, which was developed by the Museum of Modern Art. We take the time to really look at what the artist has put into the painting or the photo or the sculpture. So there are many layers, many, many layers of glass that we are looking through here. Come on, I can see buildings. Those are the buildings in New York. Uh, this must be, I think, I don't know, it could be her kitchen. After we've described all those elements, then we interpret them. What does it mean? Uh, what time of year is this? What time of day? Where is the light coming from? How are the figures interacting? Uh, what emotions might that evoke? And then we go on to explore the meaning connecting it to people's lives, uh, asking them, uh, people who have had full and rich lives, as family members, as people with careers, people who went to war, people who served others. Uh, they have all kinds of experiences to bring to the interpretation of the art. And that's what we're after, is, is an interactive, discussion-based experience that it starts with the art because the art opens the door. I often wish artists that could be a fly on the wall and listen to these conversations because we find the groups are very insightful and they often get right to the heart of the artistic purpose of the artwork. They get what the artist is trying to communicate. It's very moving actually and we docents find it an extremely rewarding situation. The population we're trying to reach now are people who are living at home caregiver taking care of the person who's living with Alzheimer's or dementia, to give them an opportunity to, to do something meaningful outside the home, because it can be such an isolating experience. And we're still working to try to get these groups galvanized to coming and perhaps meeting each other at the museum. You know, it's meet me at Kresge, the idea is that it's social, and to have those people become repeat visitors. Mm -hmm.